there's a very, very beautiful equation which relates and unites several different features of gravity. And it turns out also to be one of the fundamental equations in general relativity. In most books, they kind of gloss over it. And it's something where, I think I might have mentioned before, uh, Einstein worked together with Grossman were looking into it, they were misled, and it, it led to delays for several years in the development of, of general relativity. And again, I'll give you further reading on that another time. But the, what the equation does, why it's so beautiful, is that it unites two things, the equivalence principle and this feature of gravity having this extra substructure being the metric. All right? A is equal to grad phi already incorporates the equivalence principle because it's really F equals M grad phi. Right? The force is equal to mass times grad phi, and we can cancel out m on both sides because in that force happens to be m also. Okay, one is the inertial mass, plus the gravitational mass, and the gravitational mass is the other. We cancel out, we get a is equal to grad phi. So a is equal to grad phi already incorporates two pieces, the equivalence principle, correct? And also this substructure of the potential, which is the metric. And we can write it a is equal to minus grad phi, plus whatever the sign, so a plus grad phi is equal to zero. Now, with this beautiful equation, when you see it this way, it's very beautiful, what it tells you also is it relates two elements of the substructure. A is equal to minus grad phi. Let's say phi prime, just to make it simple. Okay, A is equal to phi prime. Now, phi is the metric, and A is the connection. So the connection is the derivative of the metric, or the gradient, that we're simplifying, right? We have these two geometrical levels of structure, the metric and the connection, are related by this very beautiful equation. The connection is simply the derivative of the metric. It turns out actually to be not just the, the derivative of it, it's the derivative over, it, over twice itself. So let's say phi prime over two phi. Okay, for a very small phi, you won't even notice that. But that basically, this equation classically already points to this geometrical connection relationship between the connection and the metric. And a little bit later, maybe in the next lecture, we'll be able to solve problems already in general relativity, writing down the full Einstein equations, and we're definitely going to use this relationship between these two levels.